Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, we'll be talking about report writing because I think this is really something important because a lot of people ignore it. And as I've been reading a lot of reports and talking about it, discussing about it in the previous video, I noticed that a lot of them sucks. So you just found a bug, which is really good. But if your report sucks, your bounty might do. And that's why we're going to talk about some common mistakes that you do while writing a report and what you can do to make it even better to increase your payout next time. Starting with the first common mistake that is generic titles. So if you look at this particular report that I picked up from Hacker1 to show you guys, it says stored accesses on reports. What does that mean? If I'm a triage, I'm going to read that. Okay, stored accesses, I got that. But what in point you're not giving me the clear idea right if i'm going to look at the titles i should get a bit more context than knowing okay it is just a stored accesses let me show you another report this report says idle delete on slash comments again what is that okay there's an idor on what on slash comments slash what the heck is that is that an endpoint is that the whole endpoint i don't think that's the whole endpoint if you are even going to mention the endpoint, at least mention the whole path of the endpoint. And if there's an ID, you can replace it with some curly braces or a placeholder. I don't know, but I don't think this is a really good title. So that's why I picked up these two reports to show you. Now, there are a lot more reports than this. If you've been watching my previous videos, you know what I'm talking about. Some of the reports I've roasted in my previous video while reading it, like uh, why did he didn't add the screenshot or the video POC or some more details but we're gonna talk about everything so don't worry so looking at this two example you must understand what generic titles mean basically without much context if you're gonna find an idor say where you find the idor on what functionality on the title if it's a delayed operation mention that okay there's an idor in the delayed operation while deleting a file or while deleting a user Plus point, when you're writing report, think from the triager perspective as well. Like triagers resolve a lot of reports in a day. Okay, and sometimes they don't even know what target to, they're gonna get. So when they look at a particular domain, it's new to them, it's alien to them. So they have to create an account and reproduce everything to find the bug that you found basically to reproduce it. So you have to make it easy for them. So they're gonna thank you, make the triagers happy literally do that think from their perspective how you can make it easy for them and they're gonna make it easy for you by not asking a lot of information giving you nmi or informative or something like that second common mistake is missing reproduction steps so basically you've written all the steps to reproduce the report but you have not written it properly but to give you an example let's have a look at this report it's the same report we picked up for showing you the generic title, but uh, we're picking it up again to show you the reproduction steps. Sorry, uh, if this guy is watching this video, I don't know, maybe you can work on it. Okay, so here we have some steps to reproduce. Make sure you have two different IDs to maintain, two different sessions for insurity, which is a nice thing that he mentioned and you should mention it too. But here, the first step is the request can be tampered with ID of different command. Both the functions of edit slash delete can be used. I kind of get that he's trying to modify the ID. You have to mention, okay, first login into the application, provide the endpoint where you're supposed to log in, and then move on to the steps with screenshots okay now click on this functionality capture the request of this functionality and then modify the id where you got from the different id and you have to add the screenshot of that as well for poc so here the second step is delete gets hampered with the captcha which is thrown by the comment of different user can be observed in the request, the attacker failed editing the comment of victim, further disabling the edit option of user. I feel sorry for the triager. From a person who is reading this report for the first time, it won't make much sense. It's not even making sense to me or you, I'm pretty sure about it. And it won't make sense to the triager as well, who is triaging it for the first time. Let's say he didn't know what the application is about. And this is the first report he got on that particular application. Then it's really going to consume their time to triage this kind of report. So always 
keep your steps in detail. Another common mistake is no clear impact. So you've written the report, but you haven't written a proper impact, like why the bug matters. And if you don't put a clear impact, the likelihood of you getting an informative or NMI is more. So when you're writing impact, write in detail about what actually is possible because of your bug and how it can impact other users on that application. Also mention who and what is affected, like user, admins, or internal systems. So you can mention that. Mention the data and functionality, like uh, what functionality is getting affected, like it exposes personal payment history to any logged in user, or it exposes sensitive information to anyone who tried to fetch this endpoint, something like this. And please avoid exaggeration because triagers can see that and they will think that you are noob. So now let me give you a really good example of let's say if you have an idle report, how are you going to report it? You're going to start with the title. The title shouldn't be something like idle found in payment API. That's a huge no. Idle in payment API allows any authenticated user to see the transaction history of any customer. This should be the title with more context. It is so amazing. So you have to write the title this way. Now, then you have to write the summary. The summary will include what actually happened. Like the bug was identified in this particular API endpoint while fetching the payment or while fetching the transaction or whatever received. I don't know. Mention the particular API endpoint in code block and then also say what kind of data is being leaked, basically a short summary of the whole report, the impact and what happened. Cool. Now, once you have done this, you can move on to the next step, which is steps to reproduce. In steps to reproduce, you have to write every step in detail. For example, you also have to mention, okay, log into this particular endpoint once you have created account and then go to this functionality along with screenshots pointing out to which functionality modify this request or change header or change the value in the url path or change the value in the request body you have to mention it explicitly in your steps to reproduce so it's a very clear for the triager to triage it and now you have to mention impact and as i said impact should be clear and in detail about how other users are impacted from this. You can also mention, and I think you should mention actually, the mitigation steps as well, because this makes a good report if you mention the mitigation as well. And then of course, set a proper severity. Understand how the CVSS score works, understand how severity works, and then you can set it for each vulnerability you found, and that makes a good report. Okay guys, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it and it can help you write your next report even better. So don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.